recently reacquired a huge N64 collection that included over 270 boxed games as well as a lot of other things for the console as some of the fantastic systems and other things like that. But when you do get a huge collection like this off of somebody who's collected for one particular console, you might find a few oddballs in there, like this for instance. It's something called a Super GB Booster, which claims that it plays Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on the N64. It even says plays GB and GB Color games in full color, so let's take a look inside. There's the cartridge itself, and let's see what it says inside. Here's the manual. So, according to the manual, the Super GB Booster is a unique product for N64 owners, allows them to play Game Boy games. So let's see how it's supposed to work. It says just make sure your console is switched off, like any normal game. And it also says you got to plug it into the unit, into the cartridge slot the normal way, make sure that the label's facing towards you in case you're stupid. And another thing it says is you actually have to put a N64 game cartridge in there. Now it says any game cartridge will work except it does say you can't use Diddy Kong, Yoshi Story, or NBA Courtside, which I guess kind of ruins my plans, so we'll set these off to the side. We'll probably have to use this Hey You Pikachu instead. So the way it goes is you're supposed to take the cartridge, stick it into the console, which is a really tight fit. You really got to cram it in there. Take the N64 cartridge, stick it in the back. This is going to help uh, bypass the lock chip and then you can put in a Game Boy or Game Boy Color game of your choice into the top and it kind of works like a Super Game Boy at that point. Now the first thing you're going to see is the Innovation Color Super GB Booster logo as well as a little reminder that they give you that it's not licensed by Nintendo of America and then if it's all working properly it should just play the game that you put in there. This one's Pokemon Yellow. Now the music you're hearing right now is actually music that the GB Booster makes and it, it's just a loop and it actually plays throughout the entire game. You don't hear any of the actual game's music or effects. Now the first few times I tried to load up another game I kept getting issues like this is a little uh, w white flickering and then another one just told me to shut the power off and, and you know try it again. So I tried the game in my Game Boy just to make sure it was running and this is uh, Super Mario Land 2 and it was working fine so I went ahead and tried it again and yep there it goes. Now I know what you're thinking, this is a black and white. I mean, like, didn't it say it was supposed to play it in color? It says right on the front that it's supposed to be in full color. Well, it turns out, according to the instructions, there is a color palette editor that you can access. And you uh, to actually access the color palette editor, according to the instructions, you'll have to uh, bring up the menu uh, using the controller. And uh, to bring up the menu, you have to hit the L and R buttons on your control pad. So let's do that right now. And it should just bring up the menu here. It also has uh, borders, uh, different borders that you can have around the game. Uh, kind of like the Super Game Boy, except this one does like either a solid red, a solid blue. I think it also has like a, like a rainbow effect one too, it looks like. And then it also has like a striped blue one but yeah it's it's kind of boring especially when you you know only have like some solid colors to deal with so if you like playing your games and framed in a solid color box i mean that might be kind of cool to you but to me uh i think the only option that really makes sense on this is the full screen mode and that that is actually let's face it the only way you're going to play these games so let's check out the color palette editor and this is sped up so you can kind of see i was messing with it for a while but what you do is you can kind of change uh different shades and mix different colors and and uh choose which colors to change whether it's the black the gray or the white uh colors that are in the game and as you can see you can kind of dial it in like really custom to what you want but I did run into some issues when trying to make it you know you know as exact as possible uh, for instance if you notice the Goombas were looking a little blue so I tried to get like a, a brown color I couldn't really get a brown color the closest I got was something that looked a little like a like a dull orange and I changed the Koopas to that or the Goombas to that which looks okay it doesn't look that bad uh, and then I ran into another issue where I was trying to make the sky blue and the trees green and it turns out the trees in the sky are the exact same pixels so I actually could only do one or the other so if I turned the sky blue I also turned the trees blue if I turned the sky green I turned the trees green so you know it was it was a little tough and to be honest I think it'd be best if there were presets for that so also I ran into a problem where I couldn't play any 
exclusive Game Boy Color games. I could play the ones that you could play in the regular Game Boy, but I couldn't play the ones that were made exclusively for Game Boy Color. It came up with a little uh, message that said it can only be played in a Game Boy Color, very similar to the Super Game Boy, though. So we could play regular Game Boy games in it just fine, but these ones that are just made for the Game Boy Color wouldn't work. But the ones that are made for both Game Boy Color and Game Boy would work just fine, which means that any of the... Pokemons that are made that way, like Pokemon Yellow, worked fine in there. But it did not play Game Boy Color games, uh, despite what it says. So, kind of strange to me. Uh, kind of like a lie, but who knows. Also, there was uh, the issue of whether or not you can load cheats on there. Uh, I'm sure you can. I kind of you know, messed around with it, and, and it just gave me a message that said something like, there's too many cheats to list. So that's basically telling me that it's so awesome for its own good that it doesn't even want to tell you how awesome it is, and I decided not to mess with that. We've pretty much come to the conclusion that this is really not cool. Uh, it has some really cool ideas, but one of the things that really kills it is the music that plays the entire time that you're playing the game. Also, the color palette editor it really should just have presets because it takes a long time just to actually get the palette the way you want it and even then it's it's not gonna look that great also it lies to you right on the box by saying it plays Game Boy Color games and it's completely incompatible with those I mean not necessarily completely I guess it will play the ones that play in a Game Boy like an original Game Boy but it won't play the actual Game Boy Color game so it's it's a little deceptive but it will play those ones that that were formatted for both systems Still, it's really not a cool piece. Uh, it doesn't fit in the machine very well. It's really hard to pull it out of the machine. It really kind of feels like it's in there really tight. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend like putting it in the machine too much. And I don't know, compared to a Super Game Boy, it really tries to be that and it ends up being almost the exact same thing, only worse, and for the N64. So if you're really looking to play Game Boy games on any home console, I'd probably go with the Super Game Boy because you're basically getting the same thing, only something that's a lot better and easier to use. You don't have to stick another cartridge into it. Uh, you won't have to, you know, have issues getting this in or out of your console, which I think could do some damage to something. I don't know what. Still, it's an interesting piece. Uh, I've never seen this before. I really think if the Nintendo tried to do something like this, it really would have been a decent add-on. And they could have probably made it to where it played actual Game Boy Color games and Game Boy Advance games. But instead, you've got this weird piece that I have no idea where it came from. I don't know who sold it. But it, it's definitely not official, and uh, it doesn't feel official, because nothing... It has to use an actual Nintendo cartridge to even work, and it doesn't even fit into the console very well. So, I don't know. All in all, I probably would not recommend finding these, because they're really hard to find, and the Super Game Boys, they're much cheaper. I guess if you do only have the N64, and you really want to play Game Boy games on it, this is the only, you know, option for you, but it doesn't mean it, you know, you should just buy a Game Boy. You really shouldn't buy this. I, I wouldn't buy this if I were you. You should just, you know, Game Boys, you can find them anywhere. This thing, you have to hunt really hard for it. And then when you get it, you're probably not going to like it anyway. So in conclusion, what do I think of this? No. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you like it, just thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And if you're in the Omaha area, we're on 72nd and Pacific next to Bed Bath & Beyond. Come check us out. Yeah, right, Billy. Yeah. Come on into Pop Culture Exchange where we buy, sell, and trade used video games and vintage toys.